Go to Products. Click the Create button. In this example, we are creating an orange colored sofa. Enter all the details of the product. Add the images of the sofa. Enter the description of the product. Add a primary identifier. Mention the MRP and selling price of the sofa. Add the packaging materials dimensions. Trader information is mandatory. If you are adding color variants, make sure to fill the primary color attribute field. Click this option. Since we want to add color variants to this sofa, choose additional colors. It might ask you to add a swatch image for this product. It's nothing but an image representing the product's color, shade or other characteristics. We are yet to create the variants of the sofa, hence we will visit this later. Let's quickly fill the remaining mandatory details. Similar to the orange sofa, we have created three more sofas having different colors. To add these sofas as variants of each other, click any one of these sofas. Scroll down to the bottom. Since we already declared that this orange sofa has color variants, it's now time to add those variants we created. Please note, we got this error while adding the yellow sofa. The reason is we didn't add the swatch image to the yellow sofa. Clicking this button will take you to the product on a new browser tab. You can quickly upload the swatch image to the product. Go to the previous tab and once again add the yellow sofa. As you can see, all our sofas have been added as variants to the orange sofa. Furthermore, you do not have to add the variants to the other sofas because they are automatically added as variants of each other. Now, it's time to add the inventory. Once you add the inventory of all the sofas, you can go to the product page on your website. Here you can see, all the variants are visible to the customer.